Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk a bit about my Mont Blanc collection. I have six pins, well, five pins, one pencil here. So first here we have a Mont Blanc 144. Then we have the JFK, and I, I did a video on, on this pin several videos back. We have a 24, and this is the pencil. This is a 26 Pix pencil. This is a Mont Blanc 22, and this is a Mont Blanc 140. I just got this. I think it's a 145. Let me see. 145 or 140? Yeah, 145. Homage à Chopin, Unicef version. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about each of these pens, and um, at the end I'll do some writing samples. Let's talk a bit about um, what I like and what I don't like. And I'll put, at some point in the video, I will put um, up the weights and um, the sizes. So this is the Mont Blanc 144. And it's, a, it's a small pen. It has a snap-on clip. And there's a nib. This is a, a medium 14 karat nib. If I can focus focus and there's the feed and it's just a cartridge converter so Mont Blanc converter I did re-ink this pen before doing the video and I noticed that the converter is a little stiff so I may just get another converter luckily Pit Boutique sells them so I can just draw by there anytime and get one. There's the cap. Again, it's a snap cap. And it just says Mont Blanc Meister Stuck. And I do like to keep my stickers on. It says medium made in, made in Germany or medium West Germany. And it's the infineal. The band, top finial with the characteristic uh, snow caps. And on the clip, it's very hard to see, but my serial number is on there. I bought this on eBay for $200. Uh, I made an offer and the uh, lady accepted. Um, she took very good pictures. I was a little leery buying my first Mont Blanc because I've heard some horror stories about getting fakes. But luckily, she took very good pictures, and um, I was able to verify that. Well, I did my own little verification based on Big Boots' video, so I'm pretty sure this is real, the real deal. And this is the the case that came in. This is a very heavy, heavy case. I don't want to send it flying, but there's Mont Blanc service guide and. It has this pen only had had a one year warranty. It's kind of crazy to think of for the prices. So this pen uh, was around the around the eighties and nineties. Uh, overall, it, it it writes it writes pretty good. It's a little rough, but overall, I'm pleased with it. So the JFK, JFK is a fine point, and it just uses this burgundy resin with metal appointments. It has JFK on the clip there, and it has these three bands here, which represent his brothers, uh, Titty, Joseph, and Robert. Again, you have the snow caps. And this is a piston converter. I'm not sure how much ink it holds. And it's a screw cap. And it's a nice, fairly sizable, good size nib. And there's the feed. And it's a pretty smooth uh, piston converter. The cap. The typical. Very pretty pin. Very heavy pin. And the nib, again, it's... Uh, I didn't mention this, but there's a lunar module engraved on there. 
and honor his his efforts to get a man on the moon. And here we have a Mont Blanc 24. Um, I bought this off of eBay. This is a, a I, I hate calling it a dud, but the seller um, advertised a black pen that was in ex excellent condition. And what I got was a green pen that was really tore up. Um, so I did get a refund on quite a bit of my money. The, I don't know if you can see, but the piston doesn't work. It's um, actually the piston was broken and the piston knob actually had a crack in it. So I, there's shellac on this and I just super glued the, the piston knob to it so it, would, it wouldn't leak through the crack. And um, I need to work on it a little bit more to get it more, more even. And so what I ended up doing, since the piston knob didn't work, I just unscrewed it and just made this into a an eyedropper. So it does actually work as an eyedropper. Otherwise, I would have I, I would have sent it back. So I just dropped the ink in in there, and it does work. The, the reason I, that I was hesitant to send it back because actually once I got it to write, it actually wrote really nice, and I didn't I didn't really feel like sending it back to Japan. So although it is a a dud, it does write very nicely, which I guess is the most important thing. So this is the inside of the cap, and it's a, it's maybe hard. To see, I'm not sure, but this is a, a a green. I can't stress how disappointed I was to see a green pen. And then when I tried to fill it to notice that the, the piston was broken. But what can you do? Um, what does that say? It says um, 24. So it's 24 there. And Mont Blanc. It's kind of hard to see. But again, you have your snow caps. It's a little bit of a chip up there. And there's the Infinil. So that's the Mont Blanc 22. And this is a medium 14 karat gold. And I bought this pencil because I wanted to have kind of a set. So I thought this was black or was going to be black. So I bought this, which I thought would be a cute matching set. And so this is a, as I said, a pencil with 1.18 millimeter lid. And this is the, the Mont Blanc 26 picks. It's a push, just a push. And I don't think there's an eraser, oddly. So you unscrew it, and this is what it looks like. But there's no eraser. The cap doesn't, this doesn't come off. But let's see, picks. And this is a box that the picks came in. This, this didn't come with a box. Uh, I showed this box in my, in the dedicated video that I had on it. But this is the dirty outer box that the pencil came in. And just a really flimsy, plastic box but this has all the you can see how old it is the, the pencil i think is from the uh six, 60s if i'm not mistaken so some information on the 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 pix pen the pix pencil and some of their other offerings so that's the pencil box And this I bought from Anderson Pens after this disappointment. This is a Mont Blanc 22. This is a medium, also 14 karat gold. Um, so I was determined to, to get kind of a matching set. So um, I saw this on Anderson, and I've had good experience with Anderson in the past. So I pretty much knew that their description of this pen was going to be accurate. So here we have. I can't see what this this says. I'll just roll it around so you can see. I'm assuming it says 22 Mont Blanc. 
So it's pretty much the same as the 24, but it's just a little bit shorter. As you can see, it's they're the same, but one is just shorter. They're both piston fillers. This piston actually works. So there's the nib, pretty much the same nib as, as on the 22. It's a nice ink window. It's the, the the twenty. I'm sorry, the twenty four. This is the twenty two, and this is the piston. As you can see the line there, the piston filler. And again, the cap and the snow caps. Again, this does have a piston window as well. Pretty much the same. I'm not a piston, an ink window. Pretty much the same pen. It's just one is uh, a little bit bigger than the other. And so both of these, I think, are from the 70s, maybe. Uh, okay, and this last one is the Mont Blanc 145 Homage à Chopin. And this is the UNICEF version. Mont Blanc had, I don't know if they still do, but they had a partnership with UNICEF to help children. I think the last time I saw they renewed it in 2017, so I'm not sure the status is of that partnership at the moment. But this is a Chopin, Chopin, and again, Meister Stuck, Mont Blanc. Really nice, it has this little fake jewel there. I get this to focus, and it has the UNICEF, the, the, the filigrees going around it, very pretty, snow caps, and finial, this is a cartridge converter pin, it's a twist cap, so that's the nib, very small nib, and the converter, don't tell anyone, but I have a cheap Scrivana. It's a very inexpensive Amazon pen. Uh, this didn't come with the converter, um, so I put this in temporarily. I did buy a new converter from Pen Boutique. I just haven't installed it yet. So this is the inner part of the barrel. Again, the inner part of the cap. And I bought this on eBay for $350. A little trick that I I'll share this with you all may know is when I'm really interested in something and I don't want to pay the price full price and if they don't so and if I don't feel like making an offer I'll just kind of put it in my cart or add it to my watch list and occasionally the seller will send you an offer and so that's what happened with this one um, the seller sent me a good offer on this so this was um, 350 and this is the box really dirty box but dirty outer box and so this is the outer top of the box homage of Frederick Chopin and I have a CD in here and a service guide And had two cartridges, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to do some writing samples and talk a little bit more about these pens. I'm sure I've missed something as I was um, introducing them. So let me get my paper out. So I'm going to use my usual Rhodia paper. My 80 PSM, I'm going to just tear a piece out, tear a piece or two out. So I'll start with the 144. And this pen is from, I guess, the 80s or 90s. And it's a medium. So we have the Mont Blancs. Put 
first we had the 144, the Meister Stuck, or Masterpiece 144, the ink in here, this Diplomat, Black Sepia, this is a super wet writer you can hear that it's quite a bit of feedback this nib needed a little smoothing it's still a little bit rough but not bad it's and it also came with pretty good in reverse so and this was ebay ebay two hundred dollars so all in all i'm very happy with this pen and the nib is a medium 14 carat but that's the i just took 144 and again the jfk twist cap Oh, it's a JFK, and the nib is a fine 14 karat. The ink in here is Diamond Twilight. This is a pretty wet writer as well. doesn't really flex well just a little bit reverse it's okay and this was eBay I think I'm running out of ink eBay and it was about 825 I think I paid for it they're still being sold um, for new well this was new but I did uh, get a good deal on it um, but retailers are selling them for $1,125. But if you look around and search on eBay, you can find it for considerably cheaper. So next we have the Mont Blanc 24. Again, these are pretty much the same pen. One's just a little bit bigger than taller than the other. the 24 and this is I believe a medium 14 karat the ink in here is dime mine dime mean black sepia not not black sepia uh, green black and so as much as I was disappointed with the fact that this was broken and that it wasn't the pen that I thought I was buying it did uh, I think it turned out really well because it's a really nice writer so I bought this on eBay from a Japanese seller and it ended up being $80 after I got my my money refunded but it is a beautiful writer and luckily you know it's not leaking or anything after the shellac, I'm just gonna I'm gonna tweak this a little bit to make it look a little nicer. But that's the Mont Blanc 24. And here's my pencil. And this is the 26 picks. And <clears throat> it uses 1.1, as I said, 1.18 millimeter lead. And this is from I guess the, the 60s or the 70s, maybe. But that's the pencil. And here we have the 22. Oh, the pencil was eBay as well from a German seller, 125. 
and they're still being sold on eBay so you can find those so this is the 22 and this is also a medium 14 karat the ink in here what is the ink in here this is uh, Waterman mysterious blue see nice wet writer oh no this was Anderson pens and it was pretty expensive it's $285 you can find these oh I'm out of frame you can find these uh, cheaper on eBay, but after my experience with the 24, I decided to go with Anderson because they're they're very reliable. They have really excellent service. Again, no real flex. In reverse, it's okay. Uh, very nice pen. It's slow on ink. So the last pen is, I just got this, uh, I just got this pen today is Sunday uh, on Wednesday. Actually, I bought this from a seller in Belgium off of eBay and he or she, they shipped it. I bought it on Sunday evening and I received it Wednesday afternoon. Probably the fastest international shipping I've ever ever received um, so this is the homage uh, Chopin uh, Chopin and this is the UNICEF version and the ink in here or say the, the nib is a medium 14 karat, very nice um, medium, no issues with this nib at all. The ink in here is Waterman Inspired Blue. This is a nice blue with nice shading. So you can see the shading on that. So it's kind of a dry, a dry ink. But very very nice. And this is um this is a perfect writer. No issues, no complaints with the, the the way it writes. It's perfect amount of feedback. Not very good in reverse. But um yeah, I love I love this pen. And I'm a music fan, so when I saw this, I was like, hmm, that's an interesting offering. And then I saw the UNICEF version. The, they do have other versions that have the, the same the same band but I saw the universe the universe the UNICEF version with the, the filigrees and the gemstones so I was really interested in this and luckily the seller noticed that I was interested in it uh, I think I put it in my cart and I added it to my watch list so the seller made me an offer so it's not an inexpensive pen um, but um, I was happy with the offer so this was $350 on eBay and plus the shipping was just just excellent so for the future future purchases there are a couple of Mont Blancs that are on my my list one is the Bohem I did a review of the Majan or Moon Man X1 and I didn't know at the time that that was a copy of the Bohem and I'm really interested in getting um, they have a small a medium and a larger one so I'm really interested in uh, getting the either the small or the medium and I also would like a 146 or 147 
Um, I don't think I'm interested in the 149. I have the Jin Hao X159, and I don't think I'd be interested really in a, a 149. And so I, I alluded to this earlier. When I bought my first one, I was really concerned that uh, because it was my first one, I wasn't really experienced in buying Mont Blancs. That I did check to make sure, you know, it was the real deal. And so I saw this on Fig Boots' channel. If I can find my, and he mentioned that if you shine a light in these, then they actually they will glow red. And I don't know if it is if it's going to show. It's probably not going to show here, but this does, this does glow red. And I don't think it's showing here, but the resin actually isn't truly black. It's has a red tinge to it. And so the, the knockoffs, they actually, um, they don't, they don't glow red. And this 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 is not working but um i checked all of these except for the green one and the jfk all the black ones i checked and they all do even the pencil they all do um show a maroonish tinge to them when you when you put the light in the cap so thankfully you can see that a little bit maybe you can see that see that red so that's the um chopin and let me see if it'll work for all of these so you can see some of them are showing and some of them aren't but I did check them all and they all do have that maroonish tinge so that's just something for you to consider and if you're on if you're on eBay and you do a search and you say Mont Blanc 144 if you see MB and if you see a price like $70 or $25 that is a fake because I was searching for a bohem and this came up MB like $69 and it's definitely a fake don't don't touch those and the MB is a sign that it's it's a fake so I think I've rambled on enough about these Mont Blancs this is probably gonna be a 40 minute video but thank you all for hanging in here with me and for indulging in my pen passion. Um, hope you're all, again, doing well and taking care of yourselves. So uh, until next time, everyone take care. Thank you.